So, you were born. Then you start living your life. Now you're entitled to your own social media profile. You're in. Welcome to your social media reality. Congratulations, you're 18 now. Do you want to know the other side of the story? Did you see the picture that was taken and uploaded by your parents? This information was collected, analyzed and may be sold by the social media to its affiliates and partners. Even before you are conscious of it, you start existing on the internet and data starts being compiled about you to be used sometime later. Let's have a further look. The internet knows where you studied, even before you had the chance to enter that information in the online space. This may not bother you. Who cares where you studied? But what happens when you started your own social media activities? Social media platforms, websites and mobile applications collect, process and profile your data into statistics that are ready to be sold. By agreeing to the terms and conditions of a social media network, websites and mobile applications, you grant permissions to their owners to collect, process and sell personal details such as information you provide, uploaded data containing information regarding your geolocation, which can help people track you down, information that other people provide, information about your devices from which you have logged on to social media, your location, operating system and device settings, information about you visiting and using other websites which have integrated social media services. Even when you are not logged into your social media profile, these actors may provide information to social media, information provided by social media's affiliates and partners, information that the mobile application gathers from your phone, this data about you and millions of other users is utilized by companies. Actually, your likes, shares and posts reveal a lot about your personality. Companies modify their goods and services, considering your preferences revealed to them through an analysis of your online behavior. They use models for profiling so as to extract information about your habits, habits that even you did not notice. They get insights on your preferences, sexual orientation, financial situation, social circle, political affiliation and religious beliefs. They even try to judge what your level of intelligence is. Your next employer may have access to such information and may already know more about you than you know about yourself. Under certain circumstances, this data may also be used by public authorities for deciding whether you are a threat to national security. You may or may not be okay with this, but the important part is being aware of the other side of the story. Privacy policies usually contain a lot of text, but do always read your privacy policy and adjust your privacy settings. You can reap the benefits of the digital world, but you should do it in a smart way and protect yourself from risks. If you want to know as much as I do and more about online privacy and data protection, check out http colon slash slash engaged.mappingtheinternet.eu slash en.